governor of the land of the dead. Obama, the fierce and merciless, the killer of a man when life is sweetest to him. Obama, I summon you. Arise and answer me. My very good friend, what troubles you? Why have you summoned me? Obome, I have been taunted and denied my right. I have been challenged to a duel by empty souls. And now I seek revenge. Vengeance on the land of Umwebo! Revenge on the land of Umwebo! Kill the old and the young! Yeah. Let sorrow, tears be their portion day and night until what is mine is given to me! Odogu! <sighs> 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 You have been a very good friend, a loyal one. I shall oblige your request. Thank you, great Obome. But you will have to make one zenith sacrifice. What could that be, great Obome? Oh, okay. I play. Straight to the markets. Uh -huh. This early morning. Straight to the markets. Who's going? I'll see you later. Hello. Hello. Straight to the markets. Uh -huh. Guys, Charlie, hurry up now. Peek. <laughs> play now. Wait now. Play, 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 play. Straight to the markets. <laughs> Laura, you've been Who will be the boss? Straight to the market. Who is being Pasha? I told you I'm a guru. Straight, no, straight. Me like Who is playing me? Yeah, you. Me again. Straight to the market. Hurry now. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. Straight to the market. To the market. Yeah. Who is playing? It's you now. Me again. Faster. Uh -uh. I'm not happy. You're, You're angry. Fat about me. Straight to the market. Who won? Way. You don't know Which anyway. Way? You went forward. You went forward. 
What is happening here? Don't you greet me anymore? Are you guys all right? Dad, Laura has gone mad. What do you mean? Gone mad? How? Dad, we were playing a game. All of a sudden, she started acting funny. She went berserk and she ran away. All right. Daddy, are you not going to do anything about her situation? I will take care of her later. And worried. What is it? I say, Mbango, where is Okukwe, my daughter? She's asleep inside. What is it? <sighs> I hope no problem. Is on fire. What is it? Hey. A strange spirit is moving around, killing people with fire. May the gods forbid. May they forbid, though. What could that be? Oyama. Oh, good afternoon. Uh, hey, good afternoon, my daughter. How are you? Fine. <sighs> Mama, I to this trip to get water. No, no, no. My daughter, my daughter, please. You can't go anywhere. The village is on fire. You can't go. Why, Mama? There's no water in the house. Nay, please talk to her. Okukwe, 
Ijikwente. They say you can't go out. The village is on fire. Eh? Trouble in the village. Yes, and there's death on the prowl in the village. Igwe, do you live long? Ah, Tuma, the son of a guy. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> You're welcome. Igwe, hey, sit down. There is trouble in the land. Our land is on fire. Aduma, what is the problem? A foul spirit is set loose on our land. As we speak right now, Igwe, this evil spirit is killing our people by setting them on fire. Well, Atuma, if you have come here to talk to me in parables, I think you have succeeded. But now come down and tell me what the problem is. Igwe, our people are dying. Go to the village tracks. Dead bodies all over the place. Point to ashes.
never seen what I saw today with my two eyes. Never! My friend, it was just the gods that saved us though. Do maybe and I were so lucky today. Hey! Mm. Hey! Hey! Mm. The gods be praised. That is how I would have lost my two good friends. My friend, you don't understand what I'm talking about. You need to thank the gods. If you see what I saw, it was so scary. Do you know, I, I, I was so scared. This evil spirit was vomiting fire. Woo, 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 like, like a dragon. Hey! Mm, I don't want to see this kind of thing in my life again. Hey! Now, I do not understand the kind of sleep I was sleeping. I didn't know. I woke up, took my gallon, ready to go to this gym. When my mother stopped me, that was when my parents told me what was going on. My friend, thank God we did not step out of this house. Just go and kneel down and start thanking the gods. My friend, go and thank the gods. Hey! Hey, this evil spirit that defeated the way put today. <laughs> My dear, I don't know. It's not a good sight to behold at all. If you see the way our people were born to death. True. Ha! Huh? I mean, I couldn't even recognize Obuak, Okoye's wife. She was as black as charcoal. May the cause for big bad thing. <laughs> Great one, you have rattled to the land of Umwebu. Tomorrow is another day. I shall retire for the day. Let them bury their dead ones. Tomorrow, I shall return. I shall forever be grateful to you, great one. Jensen, what is it? Why are you drinking this early? What is your problem? Are you blind to see that I'm having a good time here? Mm -hmm. God, you are drunk already. When did this start? What is the noise for? Good morning, Dad. Good morning. Come and see what Denton is doing to himself. He's already drunk this morning. Is that all? If he decides to be drunk this morning, so be it! Thank you, Dad. You're the best dad. I mean, the best dad ever. Very, very sweet. Yes, sir, you need to drink this at times. It's good for your blood. Watch away all the trash in the system. Emeka, come let's go to farm before the sun rises. Alright. It's better be fast.
this woman. Udara! Udara! Nani, you called me? Yes. Find me something to eat. I'm very hungry. Okay. I have chased away the evil spirit. Papa? No, oh, you are here. Are, are, you, are you saying that the spirit ran away because of you? Of course. I'm the greatest in the community. Papa? I'm the greatest. I killed an old sissy. I wrestled with, with, with the evil spirit, the old bomber. I defeated him. Wow. Papa? This was this my power. Papa, come on, come on, come on. You are a great man, Papa. Yes. Ah. Papa. Oh, yeah, my daughter. I'm seeing the spirit ran away because of you. Yes. Can you see it? Papa? I haven't seen it anywhere. I think this is my power. Papa, don't miss. I miss you. You are a great man. Oh! I can almost see it in the strongest man in this community. I just have a evil spirit. You are the only one coming here. Yes. Yes. Hey. Yes, just like that, the spirit left. What could this be? This is serious. We don't know. It was that Reverend Father that came to this village that time that gave it to us. I've never taken it seriously until today. If not for this, my wife and I would have died. May the gods be praised. May the gods be praised. I thank the gods, so... Oh, my God. 
<laughs> How are you? I'm very fine, Your Highness. Please sit down. <clears throat> Igwe, yeah. I came to tell you that I have the will and the power to chase away the evil spirit that has been raging our land. I don't think uh, I get what you mean. Come again. Igwe. If the people of our land want solution to the problem of evil spirit, hmm? they should give me plenty money. Plenty money. And I will chase away the evil spirit forever out of this land. You mean we should pay you money so you can give us the solution or what? Um, Ibe, I've spoken out my mind. Waiting, people are ready. Come and see me.
Houses of all the chairs. Summon them to this palace. Tell them I want to see them now. Yes, Your Highness. Why? Good after, sir. Why are you running like the devil is after you? The king sent me to summon all the chairs to the palace now. Tell your king, the siege on Umwebo will continue until he relinquishes the throne for me. I am the rightful king of Umwebo. I have delivered the message, sir. Thank you. This is only the beginning. Umwebo will continue to burn until I am crowned the Ochiaga of Umwebo. What is the problem? What is the problem? What has he done? He stole three thousand from my father's shop. Your son is a thief. Kesta, is that true? Dad, I just told you too much. Shut your mouth! Stupid thing. Please, who is Okwata? I am the one, sir. So you are the one? Because of 3,000 naira, you beat my son like this? You will see. Let me get you your money. 
Here's your money. You will all see. Great Obume, I greet you. Great Obume, great Obume, thank you. <gasps> <laughs> ah, that is good. Come. Come. Kesta. Kesta. In a zoo go go. Gebuze Deriko. I don't know you and Chejina who is worse in stealing. Nezu go go go. Come on, get inside the car. Children, they shall be tools in my hand, and I shall use them however it pleases me. Deal with them, great Obome, as it pleases you. Then, your request is granted. Umwebo shall fill my life. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, great Is that well with us? Yes. Uh, um, may the gods of the land protect us. Yes. Yes. To our brother, my brother, who just came back. After so many years in the white man's land, we say welcome. It shall be well with you. Uh, um, ancestors drink. The land should drink. Give us a good health. Uh, uh, uh -huh. mm. This is good. <laughs> you all for the rosy welcome you all accorded me. May the peace of Saraj Mataraj be on you all. You see, my sojourn overseas has really opened my eyes and I have seen the truth. 
After my law studies, I decided to further my knowledge on who I am and to explore the truth. So I went further to study metaphysics in India. Someone me in a hurry. Yes, I couldn't. Have you heard that my brother Odogu is beginning to lay claims to my throne? Uh, uh, where the rumor is all over the village. I couldn't. This is no longer a rumor. Huh? It's not longer a rumor. Do you know that he confronted me? He came to me and said that I'm occupying the throne illegally huh? and I should relinquish it for him. He say, Hey, uh, wait. He, man, that's not possible now. Is he all right? Since my brother came back from this overseas, he's be, you know, beginning to behave funny. What is wrong with him? I don't know what is wrong with him. All the big books he read abroad have affected his senses. Eh? He's not alright. I couldn't. I see war looming in Omebo. But. <laughs> This is absurd. Hmm? Are they men, men? How can we? Hmm? How can we ask our Igwe to step aside from the throne, to vacate his throne? A throne which the gods of our land, the gods of whom we chose him to sit on. Just because his brother Odogu surfaced and asked him and is laying claims to it. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I listen very carefully. Huh? Okay, I'm a Igwana. Odogu is the first son of their father, though his mother was the second wife. But that does not cancel the fact that he was the first to be born. Odogu remains the eldest child in this nation. Sit down! Sit down, my friend. Are you commanding me to sit down? It baffles me that all men who should stand by the truth will come before the Igwe and tell lies. Have we all forgotten how his father, the late Igwe, presented him before the gods and the people as his successor? Have you forgotten? May you not there? See, if Odogu is laying claims to this throne, let me ask you, can you can hear me? Where was he? Where was he when our late Igwe needed him the most? Hmm? Okay. He was sent abroad to study law. Instead, he studied trouble. He was there and refused to come back home only for him to resurface after the death of his father to lay claim to the to the throne. Which throne? <laughs> yes, I can you very well. I can see both of you talking from both sides of your mouth. You have collected bribe. <laughs> but for your information, all these sentiments does not cancel the fact that do. He is the first son of our late king. And of course, the heir apparent to the throne of Umwebo Kingdom. Whether both of you like it or not, Sogu can never, never be the king of Umwebo. Says who? Says me and all the cabinet members. Yes, Sifuka is our king and he will remain our king. Yeah, but I grant it. Nobody can control it. What is written is written and you cannot cancel it. But if you die it, you are now. <laughs> Looking for war. There will be no war. It is you and Udoku that will fight each other. Mm. The gods of our land will not allow you to desecrate this land. I you will see. not. I see. You have the effront to stand before me and talk into my head. Who are you? Then you will know the stuff I'm made of by the time I start dealing with you after this meeting. 
Look at you. Yes. I can smell your Yibo wine. Fine, go ahead and find me. You are doing Fine. your job. You are doing your job. Look at you. <laughs> Look at this nickel poop. You dare me. <laughs> Be careful. Let's see after this meeting. Yes. You. Let's see. Abia, he has learned a new English word. Nikon poop. I don't know. He's not even from this line. His father came here to, to trade. From their foods, we shall know them. Yes. I met two son of Allah. Look at the way he's working with hunchback. Yes. Yukuka bribed all of them. Yes, it was obvious from the way they were talking. In fact, they were talking from both sides of their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, I was baffled. Seriously baffled. How can old men support evil? Why must they go ahead and cry him king? While you were born before him. I consider it sacrilege. And that was why I opposed them violently. Even though I couldn't subdue them. Because of their numbers. I even learned that some of the chairs that were not there are in support of him. But I assure you one thing, the throne is yours. Fight for it and get it. You have done your best. Whether the whole town supports him or not, I shall become the king of Umwebo. That is my king. And that is the spirit. Nga. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. I shall become the king. Dad, your younger brother has refused to step down from the throne for you. Yes. He has refused to allow reasoning to reign. But daddy, you've lived all your life abroad. You don't really understand the traditions of this land. How would you be the king? Shut up if you don't know what to say. You should be thinking of how honorable it would be if daddy is the king. See, I must be addressed as a prince, so. Me too, bro. Listen, my dear. Nothing will make me not to sit on that throne. I am the first son of my father. Therefore, I am heir apparent to the throne. My king, yes. I consider you are worried beyond measure. Akone, my heart is heavy. My heart is, is unsettled. I can hear the ugly sound of war in the dark. My king, I understand how you feel. I understand perfectly. Hmm? Because no man can go to bed and sleep when his roof is on fire. It's not possible. Hmm? But I want to assure you that we, the titled men of this community, the council of elders, majority of us are in support of you. We are strongly behind the Ayako Bonazo. Hmm? And I also want you to know that the entire community of Umwebo is behind you. So worry not, my king. Worry not. Eh? Okay. Thank you very much for that reassurance. But my brother Otogu is not to be taken lightly. I know him very well. <laughs> My king, Igwe, kings are born, they are not made, yes. The gods of Umwebo will fight for you. They will surely fight for you. You are sitting on this throne illegally and you know that. I have come to warn you to step down honorably or be disgraced out of here. Odogu, what wrong have I done to you? Why do you seek to dethrone me from my throne? Because this throne is mine. I am the first son of the late Igwe Otogu Onukogu. I am the head of the throne of Umwebo. Do you know that I used to credit you with a lot of intelligence? But this is where you speak. I am forced to doubt your sanity. Our late father presented me to the gods and to the people and they accepted me and crowned me king. So what do you have against that? Look, I shall not stand here and banter words with you. I have warned you. The time is ticking. The gods have to be seen. You have truly sold your soul 
to the devil. But not to worry, I'm here. We, the elders and kingmakers of Nuevo, have sat and deliberated on the recent unrest in Nuevo, which was occasioned by those claims to be true. We therefore resolve as follows that Odogu should cease henceforth from late claims to the truth. What? This is arrant nonsense. This cannot happen. Odogu is the first son of our late king. Allow him to talk. I am not part of this. I said allow him to finish. Shut up and sit down. No. I will not be there. I will not be there. Is this a conspiracy or what? Allow him to finish. Um, you know, not jack out. Or there are some kata. You put one in. We also resolve that the dog should apologize to the king. And if he refuses, he shall be banished from the land. Never! Never! If this is your conspiracy or gang up, you have failed in your bid. Listen to me. Udogu is entitled to this throne. This throne is his. It's his right. And he will sit there. Anyway, remember! Isi Kote Ibu. Obabuya. I don't have chance. I don't have the time to waste here again. But remember, this is the heart of irresponsibility. I am leaving you with this warning. The battle line has just been withdrawn. When this wildfire, which you have just ignited, begins to rage, <laughs> stay in this kingdom. Don't run away. See you later, boy. Allow me your job. Look at, look at him. Your job. Don't, don't forget me. Don't mind him. He's sure that I fear for Kumebo. But as for Ichi, that is the ranting of a frustrated man. A big fool. I thought this can't it. What is it? Yes. Ekena was here to claim that he has powers to send uh, the evil spirits that have been ravaging this town. That is why I summoned all of you. Your Highness. With all due respect, I don't want to believe that you, Igwe of Umebo, will give listening ear to that rascal called Ekena. Igwe. <laughs> He's a loafer. He has not been known to do anything useful with his life in the whole of this village. Igwe, we should not take his word seriously. Your Highness. Yes. The spirit that has been let loose on our land is called Ugbome. Ugbome? Yes. I have heard of Ugbome. Bloodthirsty and merciless spirit. Hey. Ugbome? It's a spirit that was active in Umebo years back, but was killed and abandoned for over 60 years. Eye of the gods. Um, these are the five selected maidens that we embark on the journey to save our land Umuebo. So please take them along and may the gods be with you all. Yes,
Is someone who knows the story of Ugbome who has found out how to use Ugbome's power against the land of Mwebo? My king, I suspect one man. Yeah? And who could that be? Your brother, Udogun.
Where are you going to? That that crown. I'm alive. Which one is more important?
friend. Listen, you have to be strong. Life does not end here. You have to leave. Even if you cry a river of tears, it will still not bring them back to life. Come on, Opukwe. It's okay, please. You cannot change the situation. Please, my friend, wipe your tears, please. And accept your fate. Okay, please. <sighs> You have to move on, please. My heart is broken. The very air I breathe has been taken from my nostrils. My parents were light on my back. Oh no! Oh. Would you rather cry yourself to oh. death? Or rest your nerves? <laughs> Hi. You want for survivor, please, my friend. Oh, please, Okukwe. Wipe your tears, I have my friend. To look for in the future. I have lost hope in the future. Stop. I have lost hope in the future. Okukwe, stop. You speak ill of your name. Listen, my friend. The gods are wise. And that is why you are called Okukwe. Okukwe means faith. Faith, my friend, faith. Hold on to faith, please. Please. You have been commissioned to shoot and kill Obome. Oh, how foolish men can be. Neither mortals nor their weapons can kill a spirit. Prince Odogun, with due respect, sir, you speak as if you know what this spirit is up to. Of course, I, Prince Ezebuchi Odogu, the king in waiting of Umuobo, I invoked the great Obome. Now, take back this message to that traitor who calls himself King of Umwebo and tell him that I said Obome will continue to kill and plunder until he relinquishes that throne for me. <laughs> The situation on the ground is not encouraging anymore. As elders of Umebo, we cannot sit and do nothing while our people perish because of selfish and sordid ambition of just, just one man. Yes? Your Highness, we know the magnitude of what we are faced with. But the dilemma we also face here is what should we do to stop Odogu and tame Obome? Look, Obome is a rejected spirit. And it cannot be bigger or stronger than all the gods in Umwebo. It can't. Opeka, eh? my king, I suggest we consult the chief priest, Ikenga, as soon as possible. That is a very strong point. We must summon the chief priest here immediately. Igwe, this is the week of purification. Ikenga, the chief priest, cannot be seen outside the shrine before next tomorrow. Look, we don't have until next tomorrow to consult it. We must tackle this now. Then, uh, what then do we do? 
Sakit parah udah. Ay. Ate parau ja jo mu ku me na bola ja. O ko ku ku pa na nde yo pozu ko ku la fa. As ma ne di fa na bona ti abona anya. Akala ori o nevu du dweze mba. As ma ezi bali se ku do ba. Ko ke di ja tu ata ne ezi bali no. Lo kwa na anya ma te la ku do si ke ma le zi o ku bolo do. Ro bo pala na kana de nu. Osu budu budu, ki wole oke, kove lo la lo, su wole anye ni. Hai kantem obome. Hai ikenga. Akrike jume bule nyi, anapulu ngu mwa nyanzu. Hai dine and commune with the spirits. Be it released and vote. Or unleashed, I know their tracks. Within the period of 14 days. I shall them, Obama. Um, as a more, huh? Just fourteen days. Um, mouthpiece of the gods. What happens thereafter? A lasting solution must be found within the period of fourteen days. Else, Obama will be let loose again, and horror, hey. horror. You know my boy. Mm. Um, we came here mm? Mm -hmm. because we want to find the lasting solution to this problem. Yes. So, because what must be done within that 14 days? Mm. He said that within the 14 days, that the dance festival must hold and that five maidens must be selected from among the best dancers to go on a journey. And uh, these maidens will have to go to the cave of the spirit to retrieve the egg of Ugu, the king of the birds, and also bring back the back of the tree of death. But can all this be done within just 14 days? Uh, my king, we are left with no better option. And we have to do what we can to save our people. Well, okay, just tell the town prior to sound the gong round the maple and tell the maidens and the people of the dance festival. Hmm? Igwe, Igwe. 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 We'll do that immediately. Igwe. 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 I am Ikenga! I am Ikenga! I can tell you that I'm not playing you! I'm not going to play my answer! By the powers vested in me as the chief priest of Umwebo, I summon you here and now! Why are you disturbing my peace, Ikenga? Obome! You are so disturbing my peace! Obome! Why are you unleashing terror on my people? Obome, what have the people of Umwebo done to you? I'm only but a messenger of death. I'm only carrying out a duty I was paid for. <sighs> Obome, that duty was not authorized by the gods of Umwebo. That duty stops now! I am ordering you back to your rest! You can send me back, but you offer people should know that in 14 days, I shall return, and my fury shall know no mercy. <sighs> Till then, Obome! By the powers vested in me as the chief priest of Umwebo and by the gods of Umwebo, Umwebo, I am ordering you back. Return to your rest. Your Majesty, I have been able to tame Obome, but that could only last 
if Odogu will also be tamed. So how do we tame Odogu? I the gods. Your Majesty, Odogu should be captured and caged until the processes of destroying Nobume are completed. Well, if that's all we need to do, then we should do it at once. Your Majesty. Atulana Rekula Goma. Odogu should be captured. The earlier it is done, the better for us. Now, go to his house or wherever he can be found. Arrest him and keep him in a secure custody until I personally order for his release. As you wish, Your Highness. Um, dear CSO, I hope you understand the magnitude, uh, the, the, the seriousness of the problem we are facing here in Umwebo. So I want you to take this assignment seriously. Murana. My order, I understand what is at stake in our land. And I promise that I will not fail my land. Okay, you can go now. Thank you, Your Highness. Igwe. Peace must return to Uwebo. Mwam. By force, by fire. your head. Any funny movements, we will be forced to march you down. You have until the count of five to come out or we'll be forced to break in and take you by force. One. Two. Hi. Three. Hi. And then we're going to express. Four. Boys, five, nobody comes out. Let's do it. Let's do it, move it! Search everywhere, search everywhere. <laughs> Surrender yourself quietly, sir. And we will not rough handle you. What do you take me for? A baby? A weakling or what? We have the express order of the king. To arrest and detain you, sir. <laughs> Tell your impostor king that I am the wind. No one catches me. I will return in 14 days. Then I shall be the king. Thank God, bro. Yes, boss. Drop your gun and catch this man. Enough is enough. I can't take this. What? Okay, click on that book. I don't hear no. Get down, no one. Get down, people. You are proving stubborn. I will end it up. <laughs> I am the wind.
That man, Odogu, that man is a spirit. Eh? Before he disappeared, he promised to return in 14 days' time. Hi, <coughs> Jesus. He said that he must be the king, that not even the ghost can stop him. Chai, Igwe, this is not good at all. I'll uh, take you see You may go now. Thank you, Your Highness. <coughs> Sorry. Igwe. Igwe Dukwa. Igwe Igwe Dukwa. Eh? We are back at square one. Are you going to buy a bidolo? What if uh, Odogu goes to recall uh, Obome before the expiration of the 14 days? Eh? What do we give him? We do not have the time in our hands. The dance festival must commence immediately. Ask me to tell you that the dance festival is starting tomorrow and every man of the land is expected to be there. yourself, please. I will leave. Tears and sorrow has become my food, dear night. I know. I know too, my sister. I know. I know, my friend. I know what you're going through. But once there is breath in your nostrils, there is hope. Hope for a future. Hope for a peaceful and better future, my friend. Please, please stop this me. now. I don't think I can hold on any longer. <gasps> the Igwe has ordered that the traditional dance festival should start tomorrow. Tomorrow? Why so sudden?
有没有管？有没有管？How many medals do we have now? Uh, just one, my king. Just one? Yes, my king. Um, Onyemi, the daughter of uh, Dinta, mm -hmm. she danced beautifully well. She's the best dancer we have today. Oh, that means you have to start early tomorrow so that more medals will dance before nightfall. Yes, of course. Um, I will notify the town cry immediately to announce the change in time right now. Yes, because we need to have five medals as soon as possible. Don't worry, my king. We have them. We have the five medals. Did you see the way she was twisting her waist and twisting her waist? Hmm. At that time, I thought her waist was going to be. Hey! 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 I'm happy for Chica. I'm certain she'll be among the selected. Hmm. Me, I want to dance. Oh. I want to dance. Really? I want to be selected among the five maidens of honor. Hey! I do not want to dance. I. I honestly do not wish to dance. But it's obvious the has made it compulsory for every maiden to dance. Me too, I don't want to dance. Uh -huh. so. But what can we do now? We cannot challenge the Igwe. Come on, girls. The dance is good. Let us go there and show these people that we are still young, we're still vibrant. Come on, cheer up. It's just a dance. Good morning. And me, I know this, my friend, is a good dancer. When you start now, all of us will clear. Mm -mm. Okay, okay. Okay, we're going to dance. I want to go to dance. We will dance. Say you dance so that you say yes. Okay, it's not happening now. Huh? Okay, you will dance. Okay. You, will dance. you have said you will dance so she will say yes. Really? What are you still doing sitting here now? Why are you not ready for us to go to the village square? How will you? Sit down. Bien. I have ill feelings about this dance. Yeah. 
Really, I don't know. I can't explain it, but I'm just not comfortable with this dance. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Kukwe. You, of all people. Hey, hey, how can you be afraid of a mere dance competition? I am not afraid of the competition. But you are a good dancer. Because, hey, I am just not comfortable with... You will not understand. Hey. I will not understand. The only thing I can understand now is that you go in there, get ready, and we go for the dance competition. Uh -uh. Let's just go and shoot them. Don't you know how we used to do it in the village square? Let's go and shoot them what we are made of. Hmm. All right. Let me go and change them. Good. And be fast about it. Look, we are running late. Hey, dance. Hey, hope I've not forgotten how to dance. I'm not too fat. Today's today. We will show them. <laughs> Hurry up, I'm waiting. <laughs>
to you all. My king, as a moi, I greet you all. It is with joy and gladness that I present to you all the five best dancers of Umuebo. Yes. Um, these are the selected five. Hmm? As a moi. Your Majesty. These five selected maidens of Umwebu have been chosen by the gods to embark on a journey to save our land. <laughs> and wipe your tears. <gasps> Papa, what if I don't come back? <laughs> what if anything happens to me? Because of whom we go, we bring you back. <laughs> this girl is for I the don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. You will not die. Stand up, stand up. Mm -hmm. Wipe your tears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No! Stop crying. Stop crying. Mm -hmm. Death. Why did you do this to me? If you hadn't taken my parents away from me, they would have been here to save me from this journey. Why? My daughter. <laughs> Fear not, my daughter. You are not alone in this journey. The gods shall send a guardian to you. Mama. Selected. Fate. Fate has brought it your way. But you have to be courageous to overcome. Mama. 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 Your Majesty, we have just seven days to the expiration of the 14 days after which Obome will resurface. So what is keeping the process from being completed? Your Majesty, the five selected maidens will be prepared to embark on a journey to get the sacrificial items within the remaining seven days. Um, I have the gods. Is there any particular ritual that has to be done so that the maidens before they I shall start the preparation today. Let the maidens be brought to my shrine before midday today. It shall be done at once. You have them.
Greetings, families of our land. Greetings. Greetings. The king has asked me to tell you all to be at the shrine by midday for the preparation to embark on the journey. Thank you. We've had. I shall leave now. Five of you have been chosen to render lifelong service to this land. From this day, the destiny and survival of this land lies upon your shoulders. The five of you shall join me to the cave of despair. There, you shall bring the egg of the ego and the back of the tree of death. Your preparation starts now. As no so sapiti. You're <laughs> Remove the pan fronts from your legs. Drink from it. I'm past. Drink. Next. Drink. Next. Drink. Hand it over to me. Let me have the calabash. Mosu Guru Guru, okay, Monas Laura, and 
Of whom you are welcome back. You can now go home, but do not eat anything prepared with oil. Until you go and return from this journey, do I make myself? Here for peace. Who are you? What do you want from me? I am always the miracle worker. Call me the guardian angel. The guardian angel? You are welcome to my home, wise one. Who am I that you should visit? You are a special child. Your destiny shines like the stars of heaven. Do not cry again. I shall return in due course to commune with you. Thank you, wise one. Thank you for honoring me. You're pure. An innocent soul has found favor in my sight. Okukwe, goodbye for now. Oluwe <gasps> Bube, the miracle worker. Iwe. Igwe, you worry too much. Why don't you rest your nerves and allow the will of the gods to prevail? Hmm? I am confused. And the source of my confusion bothers me. Ah. Um, my king, I believe that if you share the source of your concern, we, both of us, we can find a solution to it. Now, why would the gods place the burden of finding a solution to the problem of our land on the shoulders of five feeble maidens? Why not men? Iwe. Abu Nezio Kodo. Oba Wojumana. Ochamba. It baffles me. But I believe, and I know, Ekwe Mkwe Siike, that our gods are wise and their choice is correct. Hmm? 
gods are wise. Yes, I know. But they are mere girls. Will they survive the journey? Will they come back to me with their life? Igwe, our gods that led them there will bring them back. Worry not. Mm, it is well. Well, I pray all this work out well. It shall. to go on this journey but I'm so lonely I need guardians I told you I shall come in due time you are not all alone I am with you always why is one I do not know what to expect in the land of the dead. You will face challenges. But the Almighty shall help you to overcome. <gasps> this cup is special. Wear it in times of danger. And you shall be invisible and do whatever you want to do. Take it. Thank you, wise one. This is the sword of life. The two the blade of the two-edged sword can go through anything, both physical and spiritual. Have it. Wise one. Thank you. A sword of life. Whenever you need my presence, sing the song. What 
Today, five of you beautiful maidens of Umwebo have decided to take upon your shoulders the destiny of Umwebo. The Igwe ask I, Aniche Akune, to tell you that he is pleased with you and that the gods of our land will guide you all. He also said that when you return from this journey, the entire Umwebo will reward you abundantly. Don't be afraid, our gods are with you. Brave maidens of Umwebo, Ikenga shall lead you to the mouth of the evil forest. Let's go. I <laughs> Ikenga will stop here. You shall continue your journey from here to the cave of the spirits. Be courageous as we embark on this journey to the cave of the spirits. You shall cross seven seas and seven forests before you get to the cave of the spirits. <laughs> the gods of our land shall be with you. Thank you, Rice One. Proceed. You will answer me. 
I have a job and I need it done fast. The five maidens of Umwebo are on a journey to the cave of the spirits. I want an end of the journey. Let them die on the road. Let them die on the road. Omanga! sacrifice for you. I have nothing to say than to take it the way you say it. Mm.
What is it? I'm tired. I can't move any longer. Honestly, we need to rest. Ah. Maybe we should even pitch here for the night. Nightfall is almost at hand. Let's rest. Very well then. We'll pitch here for the night. We'll go hunting for bushmeat so we can eat something. Oh, you is here. Her father is a hunter, so she should know more about animals. My father, you said. Not only. Very well then. We all go hunting together. But for now, we rest. Along your path, you shall come across evil spirits and good spirits. But do not fight any spirit or spirits, except they fight you. And a million juni go kiddi biaja one one. All of us now. But they are good spirits. <gasps> hmm? They are not violent. Violent or not, spirit is spirit or. No, I, mean, I want to sleep, but they should not disturb my sleep again. Must you sleep? You had better stay away. Enough of the noise. The night is pregnant. Perhaps there's some other spirits knocking around. Really? <laughs> it's okay. We can all go to sleep now. Huh? Sleep? Huh? Are you sure mm. we can still sleep this night? Yes, you can. Really?
because of my ancestors. In you alone I trust. Protect my daughter, Onyinye. Grant her and her friends safe journey. May they succeed in the adventure. Really deep. We can't swim across. I cannot swim more. What are we going to do now? None of us can swim. <sighs> Hold on to me, everyone. than everyone, the messenger of death. I summon you, answer me. I thank you for honoring my call. What can I do for you, my lady of Kubato, five men in Sofumuebo are on a journey. I do not want them to get to their destination. I have been able to do away with one. 
I need you to help me destroy the remaining four. Is that why you're worried, my dear? Yes. Because I die. Thank you, Impoto! Impoto! The giant of the woods! Impoto! The messenger of death! Impoto! What would have become of those girls by now? Igwe, Igwe, you worry too much. Hmm? You worry too much. The gods, in their wisdom, chose those five maidens to go and get a solution to our problem. And the same gods that chose them will lead them to and fro. Hmm? Igwe, a man will not give a child salt and invoke rain to beat him on the way. If the journey were for men, I would have been more confident. <laughs> if we worry not, everything will work out well. It's all snap. As a matter of fact, now, the revolution is the via calibre. Via calibre, the revolution is the reason. Mbano, hey, number one, number one, number one, mbano. Oko na mwa bikenga, oko na mwa bikenga. Ohuli na kota flora ni. Akirikaji na mabweni, akirikaji na mabweni. Uti no era me me. Ona da ni roya na azu, ona da na zo ya no ni ru. Ba, uri ya gele gele na na gele na bi jedike. Ozu bu 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 ozu 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 I am not happy with you. You promised me as a friend, but you have failed me. Impato! What do I do next? This girl must not get the end! Impato! What? How foolish can the elders of Umwebo be? How can they send little girls on a journey of life? The stupidity of the elders of Umwebo is by far wiser and more preferable to your selfish and foolish desires. I am the king of Umwebo. Ibuka is an impostor and his days are numbered. You will not sit on that throne as long as there is breath in my body. How dare you challenge my words? I shall consume you! Oh my god! Oh my god! 
have been without you. Just like a name. I am fed in her. Let us go. Let's go. Let's go. You again? You miserable man! Have you come to torment us again? I can see your little magic is working. Now, let me see how you will run away this time. If truly you be a man of strength as your name implies, then drop your magic and fight us with wisdom. You tell me, you little rat! Now you can see that our little magic is working. Since you have decided to be an obstacle, you will remain here and wild animals will feed on you. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Kaije <laughs> Orugo! Kaije! Kaije Orugo! Kaije! Kaije Orugo! Kaije! Kaije Orugo! No one catches the wind. I am the wind! No one catches the wind! Time around, I will kill you all. Mpoto, Mpoto, I am the way. Amanda, eat our flesh. Amanda, eat our flesh. Amanda, eat our flesh. Good leader, bad rubbish. Evil man, that was so close. So close! We are on a mission. I cannot just allow you pass through my kingdom. 
you will offer me a sacrifice an offering of passage an offering of passage please what is this offering of passage mother please tell us the decision is yours Honestly, I could 
sat there at the palace. I gave the king hope. But the truth of the matter is that I am worried. Okay, now tell me, what is the fate of those five maidens? Atuma, Atuma, you worry too much. You worry too much. Hmm? Don't you have faith in the ability of our gods to deliver us? Of course I do. I believe in the gods. But I'm human. And I should be worried. Then worry not. Hmm? Don't lose faith in the gods. Look, the gods are wise. And we believe in the ability of their wisdom to deliver us. That's all. Let's go. Don't worry. It is, it is. To drink water. I'm very thirsty. Seriously. Me too. I need water too. There's nothing we can do. Let's move on to the castle. A stream. Huh? It's not a stream. It's a stream. It's a stream. It's a stream. Then. 
No. Are you scared? I'm not scared. I'll leave the wind then. Let's go. must be done today, before nightfall. Your Highness, we are at crossroads. I fear for the future of Umepo if this mission fails. Um, I wonder, the, 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 the Chief Priest says he ought to be here by now. Uh, he should be here, but I wonder what is keeping him. How I wish the gods chose men for this mission instead of girls. I am the gods. What is going on? We have just eight hours. Uh, is there any hope for me? Tell us the mind of the gods. <laughs> the journey is a tough one. But the maidens of Umwebo shall succeed. <laughs>
To me, angel of the most high. Behold, the Lord has seen the darkness moving over the land of Umebo, and He has chosen you to be the agent of deliverance in that land. My Lord, what am I expected to do?
three hours. Three hours and Umebo will be on fire again. Ike Ugoro. Ike Ugoro. I thought that by now these maidens would have returned. Who knows if they are still alive? Remember, they sojourn to the land of the dead. May the peace of the Lord be upon this palace. And your wife. And uh, who are you? I am Reverend Father Augustus Ikemefuna. Obome! The harbinger of death! Obome! The supreme controller of the land of the dead. Obome, fierce and merciless. Killer of man when life is sweetest to him. Obome, I summon you. Answer me. my body but they cannot kill my spirit oh bome avenge me There is no other name given among men by which a man can be saved except the name of Jesus Christ. What is happening in this land is a satanic attack fashioned to destroy the land. But with God, all the works of the evil one shall be destroyed. They are, they are, they are like Father that is Look. We are not interested in your sermon. Save it for your for your for your congregation. Look, we know where the problem of this community is from. We know the cause, and we are close to solving it. 
Igwe, I think we should not just sit down here waiting. Let us go to the shrine and find out exactly what is happening. I think you are very right. Very good. Let us go. Listen to the voice of God, King and the of Umwebo. For without God, this land can never be saved. Good morning. I'm tired of making you an Igwe. Let's go, please. Let's go, please. We will not leave better for you. to your problems lie not in this carved woods that you call gods bad mcjagon say close your mouth i can see that you'll be struck with the same madness your highness who is this empty soul that just speak ill of our gods in their sacred abode <laughs> Christ is the only way to life. Mm. He is the savior of the world. And he alone, I repeat, he alone can save this land. How dare you blaspheme our gods? Your gods are weak. They are helpless. These are graven images. They are just mere carved woods. If you don't live here this very minute, I will be forced to invoke madness upon you in our There is nothing you nor your worthless gods can do to me because I am protected and covered with the precious blood of my Lord Jesus Christ. Ma wo si ala ibe ma wo si ala male were mo kwena 
Listen and listen carefully. I don't know who you are. I don't care where you come from. But listen. Our gods have remained the greatest protector of our land from the days of our great ancestors. You cannot come in here to desecrate our sacred tradition. If your gods are as powerful as you have made them to be, then how come your land is under the siege of his agents? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Obuloki didn't take any sozo ananini. How dare you challenge me, Ikenga? Me, Ikenga! I could get you know my plan. Yeah, she comes. Yeah. <laughs> man has come down now. <laughs> yeah, she comes. The solution we have been waiting for. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Your Highness. Oh, we can get up from my zoo. Have you now seen that the power of God is the greatest? God Almighty allowed all that happened in this land for a purpose. And that purpose is being fulfilled today. The so-called journey and the items she brought back is a waste. And great no solution to your problems. Oh, only if you all can accept Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Only then shall peace return to this land. Uh, Reverend Father, we, we have seen that, that your Jesus Christ is the only way. Please pray for us. Amen. I shall pray for you. But before then, I have a message for this young girl. You are the chosen one. The Lord Almighty has interest in you. You shall serve him till the end of your days on earth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.